Hi, it's Alice from PC Games N, and I'm here with Jules. Hello. And you've just been talking to Hajimi Tabata, the lead game director of Final Fantasy XV. Yeah, so on Monday there was the announcement that uh, Final Fantasy XV is finally going to be getting a PC version. Yeah. So I managed to sit down with him for a good like 45 minute chat to basically find out what's going to make uh, the PC version unique, mm -hmm. why it's taken as long as it has, and like sort of what are some of the things that players are going to be able to do in this particular version of the game. Oh, that sounds cool. So basically, um, the reason it's taken so long is one of the big features is this first person view mode, um, right. which isn't something which is available in the console versions. Okay. And the reason that particular mode has taken so long is like anyone who's played Final Fantasy 15 already, like if they played the console version of the game, um, they'll know that the combat has you like teleporting all over the place and this okay. sort of thing. So translating that to PC and like having a first person view is quite complicated. I see. And because uh, they didn't want to take anyone to feel sick while they were playing. And so they've had to come up with loads of different camera techniques. They've also had to change tons of animations and effects because when it was in a third person view, yeah. like your character would have glowing bits on his arms and legs and like sort of like his armor would be sort of flashing in and out and yeah. like they want to communicate all of that to players and so they've had to come up with this whole new visual design that will make sense in first person that sounds cool so that's part of the reason it's taken as long right. as it has the Why other is uh this thing called well it's basically it's it's they're introducing modding tools to oh, right. Final Fantasy XV. That makes sense. Which is going to be a, again a unique to PC thing. Yeah. Uh, I asked him like what extent players are going to be able to mod the game? Like, can they add new story, new quests, new uh, weapons, characters and skins, levels, this sort of thing? Yeah. They still don't know exactly what they want to do. Okay. I mean, they mentioned that the thing they definitely want in there is some form of level editor. So right. that will mean new locations, at least. Mm -hmm. um, but he didn't say no to the idea of sort of weapons, skins, all this sort of stuff. One okay. thing he was pretty sure was going to happen, whether they like it or not, and he didn't want, he really made explicitly clear he wasn't <laughs> supporting this, okay. is that he's pretty sure that there's going to be nude mods very quickly after the thing launches. Great! Yes. That's not very surprising. Is it? No, not <laughs> entirely. Um, but, you know, that wasn't a tacit endorsement of it. It was just, okay. he's very aware it's going to happen. Yeah. And he had to have a conversation with the CEOs of the company about it because they were worried that was going to happen. And they've just, right. they've accepted mm. it's probably going to happen. Brilliant. But yeah. So that was Hashimi Tabata. Cool. Does it sound like it's going to be a good game? Um, so, it depends. There was something of a... Uh, some people really like Final Fantasy XV. Yep. Some people had a negative response to it. Mm -hmm. Personally, I didn't really enjoy it when I okay. played. Um, but uh, And that is the same game that we're going to be getting. Yeah. Nothing except for what is coming in the DLC and the updates, yeah. which will all carry over, has really changed. Okay. So if you didn't like the game on console, there's not much reason why you would like it on PC. Okay. Um, but, but the mods are... Obviously. But exactly. So it could be that actually a lot of the problems which are in the game may be fixed by mods, depending on how much control modders will have. Yeah. So for instance, if there are areas of the game which are underpopulated, then it might be that we'll see uh, that modders will come in and they'll start filling it out with new quests, storylines, and all these sorts of things. But we don't know yet what modders will be able to do entirely. Cool. Well, thank you for your time, Jules. No worries. If right. you like what you saw, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you soon for more Gamescom goodness. Bye.